Hello. So today is April 23rd, 23rd, and Doug, Eliza, and I, and Esther, we're all outside and we are going to start creating our back garden bed, which is very exciting. The whole idea behind this is that it's a memorial garden and there are going to be plants in it that symbolize our family and people that have passed. So I'm very excited about it because I have a piece of my grandma's peony. I have some of my grandpa's irises. So it's just like a very special little section of our backyard. But um, it's gonna be this area. <laughs> we don't have a fence yet. And um, Doug is in the shed getting some spray paint so we can figure out the shape because I want it to be a little swoopy. And we're just gonna kind of see what happens. While stuff is blooming in our front yard, I thought I would give you a little peek at what's going on. So here we go. On this side of our house, we have a firelight hydrangea, a hollyhock, and here's a foxglove coming back from last year. This is an at last rose, and we have a little hedge of four incredible hydrangeas. Rebecca is coming back, and so is Echinacea. And then here are my irises and exotic emperor tulips. Here is my Eustacia Vi David Austin Rose. Here are some tulips that are coming up. I don't remember at all what I planted. <laughs> um, and then some white lion daffodils, which are just the sweetest. I love white lion daffodils. They're just incredible. And they're coming back so strong this year. And then I have these apricot hyacinths that are starting to go over and some more white lion daffodils. And then I have one of my two Allen Wick roses, which is also a David Austin rose. We have one here and one flagging this side as well. I have some containers of pansies and violas that I got from the garden center. This is a um, ranunculus that I grew from a corm. Just more pansies and violas. This is our walkway that we dug out, um, not last year, but the year before. And I planted it with a hundred apricot impression tulips that are starting to come into full bloom. They are just huge. Um, I love them very much. And I also have some daffodils that I planted the year before. This is replete that have come back. And this just goes all the way up. And then I think these are apricot parrot tulips that are coming into bloom with the precocious daffodil narcissus. More precocious over here and more tulips. And then as we go on to the next side of the garden, here's that second Allenwick rose. Um, more apricot hyacinths, some alliums that are coming up. These are pinball wizards. Then we have boxwoods, more tulips. And then over here, we have British Gamble and Flower Surprise Narcissus. And back there are apricot whorls with our Yankee Doodle Lilac. The Yankee Doodle Lilac is in bud. And I am so excited we planted this last spring about a year ago. And it's just all budded up. We also have some Queen of Hearts Brunnera and there are some hellebores back there. Oop, step over. More Brunnera. These are some daylilies. They're double daylilies that are coming up. This is a peony coming up that I forgot I planted. Um, I think this is Claire de Lune, more British Gamble daffodils. These things are massive. Down here, I planted an Olivia Austin rose from David Austin, and that is growing in front of a limelight hydrangea. There are more daffodils. I think this is pink charm, maybe. I actually don't remember. 
And then this is a new daffodil that's coming into bloom. I don't know who she is, but she's gorgeous. And more apricot whorl dahlia, not dahlias, um, daffodils. And then this is a Rose of Sharon. This is Sugar Tip. And then we have a Penstemon that's starting to grow back. And a new addition to the side of the house is this trellis Doug built me to stake up my lady, nope, the generous gardener rose from David Austin Roses. We have these pavers that are gonna go and line the front of the yard. And then I have more roses. I actually think this Claire Austin is going to come out this year. It's just not in a very good spot. But then I have a Wallerton Old Hall, Claire Austin, and Wallerton Old Hall growing up our chimney. This raised bed housed three roses last year. Two of them have died and one of them I moved to a large container and this raised bed is going to go over here so that we can start some veggies soon. It is the evening now, um, but we just sprayed out the outline of the flower bed and now I'm going to kind of edge the line a little bit with my shovel. Um, it sucks because we have very hard clay, rocky soil. So I just started and I've already hit a giant rock. So it's going to take a little bit of time and a lot of muscle, but I'm very excited to see this start coming together. Okay, so I finished a nice big swoop of it, but I hit, <laughs> I'm hitting a lot of rock right here. So I'm going to save that for tomorrow and it's starting to rain. So we will keep at it. It is almost a week later. It is um, May 5th and I am trying to dig out the sod. And my dad gave me a tool that he made, but this thing is literally a welded piece of iron. It's heavy and it's hot. It's like 70 degrees. I mean, it's not that hot, but when you're doing work like this. It's hot, okay? I'm not comfortable. So we're just gonna keep trying because I'd really like to get some stuff in the ground this weekend. <sighs> Now, some of you are probably wondering why we aren't doing a no dig bed. Pretty easy, <laughs> it's expensive. Um, the compost costs are just, it's too much for us right now, it's not in our budget. So we are going to work with what we got. And yeah, it's fine, it's just a lot of, a lot of work, but um, I've <laughs> dug out maybe like a fifth of it so far. We'll see how much see how much we get done. Doug has figured out the sod that cutter. That's the worst angle to do it. <laughs> Doug's figured out the sod cutter. Don't and eye contact while I do it? Sure, no. <laughs> Doug has figured out the sod cutter and it's going way faster. It looks funny. But, but it's, it's going way faster. <laughs> Hopefully today is the last day of this project. It might go another day, but I'm currently putting compost into the bed. We don't have a ton of it, only 10 bags. 
and it's not going very far. But that's okay, Doug is still working on digging out a little bit more over there and then I can start planting everything. I'm so excited to get things in the ground. This is our third growing season in this house. Uh, we've been here for two full years, but we moved in um, May 1st of 2021. So we had 21 growing season, 22 growing season, and now 23 growing season. And I've never been able to put things in the ground. So I'm very excited to finally have a space to do that. This is where we're at now, and I am just really happy with this. So this entire front has not been planted yet. I am picturing a lot of daisies in this area, maybe a couple more lavenders, maybe even a couple more peonies. And then over here we have um, the two yarrow. I would love to get a third one to stick back here. And then this is a Shropshire Lad rose I really hope it survives and then up front here is earth angel this is my grandma's peony over here and a little munstead lavender we have the one hopefully surviving wedding rose but jury is still out and then the lupin and the salvia over here and I'm hoping to get uh, maybe a group of three of the salvia or a group of five of the salvia to make this like little back border. And then maybe two more of these lupins to throw in here would also be really great. I almost fell over, but I'm really happy with how this is coming together. Everything has been watered in with a little bit of flower tone um, to help everything establish and grow. Thank you so much for being here. I'm so excited to share my garden with you and to have you along for this entire process. I cannot wait to show you this bed next time when it's hopefully fully done and we get to throw some more exciting plants in here.